what's the secret to winning in the stock market? Studies clearly prove it is not market timing. That's a way to get burned. Smart investors know that dividend investing, especially in companies that grow their dividends every year, has one of the best track records in market history. Just ask Warren Buffett. The Black Diamond Dividend Strategy through IQ Wealth Management in Scottsdale is the logical and prudent way to invest for strong compounding growth over time with less hassle. If you live in Mesa and are looking for a more dynamic and prudent approach to investments, learn more about the Black Diamond. Let's listen in on leading financial advisor Steve Jurich of IQ Wealth Management talk about the power of dividends in a recent broadcast of the popular daily radio show, Mastering Money on Money Radio. At any point throughout, you can visit our website by clicking the little circle with the eye in the top right corner. More income, smarter investments. Welcome back to Mastering Money on Money Radio. Yes, welcome back to Mastering Money on Money Radio, brought to you by IQ Wealth, where financial success is not only possible, but highly attainable. I'm Ken Morgan with retirement strategist and best-selling author Steve Jurich. Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's time now for the IQ Wealth Market Intel segment. Yes, sir. Today, we'll look at several stocks recently rejected yeah. as candidates for the IQ Wealth Black Diamond Dividend Portfolio, yeah. mm -hmm. which rebalances quarterly, typically after the quarter, to make sure all current dividends are paid and tucked away into each client's account. Mm -hmm. We'll cover stocks that came very close to being included. They had a number of the characteristics of stocks that eventually make the grade into the Black Diamond, namely a minimum of 10 years of dividend growth, a minimum of 3% dividend yield or more, reasonable payout ratios, price-to-earnings ratios that beat the S&P 500, and a beta score of less than 1, meaning the stock has shown less volatility than the S&P. Right. And these are some of the mathematical determinants used by IQ Wealth Management in choosing stocks. Others include credit rating, which must be investment grade, and good free cash flow numbers. Free cash flow is a measure of a company's financial performance, calculated as operating cash flow minus capital expenditures. Free cash flow represents the cash that a company is able to generate after spending the money required to maintain or expand its asset base. Mm -hmm. In accounting and finance, free cash flow, or FCF, is the cash a firm produces through its operations less the cost of expenditures on assets. Theoretically, free cash flow is the total amount of money that could be returned to its shareholders if no future growth is realized. Right. Now, here's an example. For the fiscal year ended January 31, 2017, Macy's Incorporated recorded capital expenditures of $912 million and cash flow from operating activities of $1.801 billion. Yeah, so we arrive at Macy's free cash flow by subtracting the $912 million in capital expenditures from the $1.801 billion in business cash flow. That leaves Macy's with a handsome $889 million in free cash flow. Macy's, therefore, has a large amount of free cash flow that it can use to pay dividends or expand its operations or deleverage its balance sheet, in other words, reduce its debt. Macy's pays a dividend, but not enough to make it into the black diamond. Plus, management is harder on retailers right now than we are on other industries in the current environment, with Amazon cutting its swath and disrupting that retail sector. On its own, free cash flow does not give an accurate sense of company value. However, having a lot of present free cash can be a good indication of possible future growth. Value investors often look for companies with high or improving cash flows, but undervalued share prices, the ideal combination. Mm -hmm. Rising cash flow is akin to untapped potential, and the expectation is that with good business decisions, future growth is likely. Well, let's look at our first stock, which meets many of the criteria for inclusion in the Black Diamond, but falls short, and that would be Brinker International, Inc., symbol E-A-T. Yeah, E-A-T. Its sector is consumer discretionary, specifically food and restaurants. It has a market cap of $1.9 billion, which is on the small side. EAT has a dividend yield of 3.57% at current prices, with a beta of 0.25. Yeah. 
meaning although it's a smaller cap stock, it trades with less volatility than the S&P 500 by 75%. Not bad. Yeah, right. Its 52-week price range is between $36 to $55 right now, currently trading at just under $38 a share. The price is right. It got our attention. But is the value there? Remember, price is what you pay. Value is what you get. P.E. ratio is only 12.5. So compared to the overall sector's P.E. of 20.3, it appears we would not be overpaying for EAT as long as other factors are favorable. The dividend yield, really a nice, tasty 3.57 at today's stock price. Brinker owns, develops, and operates, and franchises the Chili's Grill and Bar and Maggiano's Little Italy restaurant brands. Chili's, a recognized leader in the bar and grill category of casual dining, has been operating restaurants for 39 years. Mm -hmm. Chili's also enjoys a global presence with locations in 31 countries, including two U.S. territories around the world. Maggiano's is a full-service national casual dining Italian restaurant brand. Brinker, symbol EAT, has a dividend safety score well above average, suggesting that the company's dividend is extremely safe. Yeah. The company's earnings payout ratio over the past 12 months is 45%. So they're only paying out 45% of the free cash flow. Well, this is a reasonably safe payout ratio for most types of businesses. Importantly, EAT has been a consistent free cash flow generator and recorded positive free cash flow in 12 of its last 12 fiscal years. That's darn good. Free cash flow is the sign of a healthy business and is needed to fund sustainable dividends. EAT has generated returns on invested capital between 5% and 10% most years. Mm -hmm. That's not terrific. Not that great. This level of return suggests that EAT's economic moat is about average. Yeah. The term economic moat, coined and popularized by Warren Buffett, refers to a business's ability to maintain competitive advantages over its competitors in order to protect its long-term profits and market share from competing firms. Mm -hmm. During the financial crisis of 2008, EAT's sales declined by 15%. And the mm -hmm. company's financial yeah. strength was great enough to allow it to increase its dividend, which has grown for more than 10 consecutive years. Yeah. Now, this would indicate the company appears to be sensitive to the broader economy and should be approached with some caution. Each stock returned minus 44% in 2008, underperforming the S&P 500 by minus 7%. Yeah, the stock was rejected uh, for three key reasons. First, the credit rating is double B. That puts it below the minimum required credit, credit rating of triple B in the black diamond. Triple B is, the, is an investment grade, uh, that and above. Second, many of Chile's locations are located in or next to major malls where traffic is dwindling. Third, too sensitive to economic conditions. Uh, we'll watch Brinker for improvement, but for now, it's a no-go. We'll continue to review stocks on Mastering Money that have many factors going for them but fall short of the business model for the Black Diamond. Some of those names, which did not make the cut this time around, Duke Energy Corp., McDonald's, which had been in. It's just that we took profits there. Qualcomm and Plains All-American Pipeline with a dividend yield of 8.25%. Why would we reject a company with an 8.25% dividend yield? Well, I'll tell you why. At IQ Wealth, we focus on quality and we focus on you. This is your retirement at stake. This is your money. Quality matters, and risk doesn't always work out. That's why they call it risk. Retire secure by getting logical with your money. Make the smart call to IQ Wealth Management and retirement strategist Steve Jurich, one of Arizona's leading 401k rollover advisors and the originator of the Black Diamond Dividend Strategy. Steve can help turn your risky pile of mutual funds with unreliable dividends into a quality retirement portfolio with built-in security and consistently growing dividends. Steve works with a team of independent tax, accounting, and legal professionals, including CPA Nick Stefaniak, attorney Richard Dwarnick, and master tax advisor Doris Milton to help you build a financial and estate plan second to none. And it all starts with a free second opinion of your current financial plan, an upcoming rollover, or your current annuity. Find out why listeners are turning to Steve. Call right now, 480-902-3333, and visit iqwealth.com and blackdiamonddividend.com. It's not what you make, it's what you keep that counts. And what keeps coming your way. Cut your fees, lower your taxes, increase your income. 
More for you and more for the people you care about most. That's the IQ Wealth Strategy. To schedule a complimentary review with Stephen, call 888-310-1776 from anywhere. Stay with Money Radio. The journey continues. Now for the IQ Wealth Mastering Money Minute. Here's retirement strategist and Kiplinger contributor, Steve Jurich. The new rules for Social Security have changed the game. The old file and suspend strategies are ancient history for couples younger than age 66. And while you can still claim a spousal benefit as young as age 62, you can only collect it as long as your spouse is collecting his or her benefit. Remember, the spousal benefit can be slashed by up to 35% if you claim it prior to your own full retirement age. That sounds bad, but yet it still can be the right thing to do in some cases. We can help you there. Also remember, there is no increase for delaying your spousal benefit beyond your own full retirement age. Get these facts and more free for a limited time in the new IQ Wealth 16-page Social Security Decision Guide. Call 888-310-1776. 888-310-1776. IQ Wealth is not affiliated with any government agency. 888-310-1776. Call now. To learn more about the Black Diamond Dividend Strategy or to hear the rest of the show, click the link right now and see the IQ Wealth Management website. Learn more right now about why dividends have one of the best track records in market history. Click the link now to retire and stay retired. <laughs> 